Hey everybody, welcome back to the Lawn Chair Mechanic. Well, the day has arrived. The post office called earlier this morning. The chicks have arrived. Um, I ran down and got them. First thing as soon as I got up and brought them home. I got them in the little brooder now and uh, we're going to show them to you. They're all here. There's the little box that they came in. They came packaged real nice in a nice ventilated box. They do a great job. You can actually pick the sex of, a, of the chicken that you want. But they have uh, specialists to come in on the day that the chicks are hatched and they sex all the chickens. So you can get all the hens and all the roosters that you want. So. A really nice feature that they have and uh, I'm very pleased with uh, the service that they give you and they they vaccinate your chicks for you at a little little bit of an extra cost but not much but it's worth it to have your chicks va vaccinated so let's show you the chicks all right there they are <clears throat> 21 of them I ordered 20 first thing you want to do when you get your chicks which I already did it I took every chick and I dunked it beak into the water so they would start drinking as soon as I took them out of the box I did that with each one of them that way they can find the water because these chicks are thirsty. I mean, it, they just had a hard trip from the hatchery to here. And you want to make sure they get their water as soon as possible. Now to feed, what I did, as you can see, I got it back here in the feeder. But they wasn't paying any attention to it. What I did is I put some feed in my hand, the palm of my hand. And I just put my hand down in the feeder, in the brooder. And I had them start pecking the feed out of my hand. Then I took it over there. And I sprinkled the rest of it in the feeder. And they all just took off running to it and started eating. These chicks are pretty smart. I mean, you just have to lead them in the right direction, that's all. <clears throat> now, other than that, you just... Keep the heat lamp uh, at a safe distance. You want it to be around 90 to 100 degrees underneath the heat lamp. And uh, I use a thermometer and I keep checking it. But uh, as they grow, you'll keep raising your heat lamp a little bit higher to get them all the way up to where it's 70 degrees under the heat lamp. Once you get it to 70, and they get used to 70 degrees, then you can move them down to the chicken coop. But, uh, either way, I might just leave them up here in the garage. I got them in the garage of the house right now for maybe three, four weeks. Then I'll put them down in the chicken coop with the heat lamp. And uh, I'll make a little place down there for them. Not the whole coop, just a section of it. That way they can start getting used to the chicken coop with the heat. Then I'll slowly get the heat off of them down there. Once they start out growing this little brooder here. But all you got to do now is feed them and water them all the time. And just sit here and enjoy them and watch them uh, run around and uh, play with each other. 
You gotta make sure they don't uh, start pecking each other. That's the main concern. But if they do start pecking, one thing that makes them peck is light. So I'm leaving the light out down here. And the light down here is the heat lamp. <clears throat> Too much light and they start pecking each other. Um, another thing, if they do start pecking, it might be too hot. You might want to raise your heat lamp up a little bit. Um, if it gets to where it's, you can't control their pecking and uh, everything you try and they just keep pecking each other, you might have to uh, cut the beaks. You want to take the, the, the tip off the, the upper beak. You don't want to touch the bottom beak, just the, the upper beak. And just cut a little bit off the top beak. And that'll control the pecking. But that's the last resort. <clears throat> if you don't have to do that, don't. As you can see, they found the water. They are drinking. They're a very smart bird. I don't know if anyone knows this, but chickens will recognize your voice. They know who their owners are. They will remember their owner's faces. You can even name your chickens and they will remember their names. As long as you keep calling them the same name over and over, they will eventually remember their name. And when you call them, they will run. Chickens are not stupid. Most people think a chicken is a stupid animal. But uh, they're actually a pretty smart bird. This little guy's falling asleep standing up. Ain't you, huh? They were there eating. They found the feed. <clears throat> drinking the water. And they're running around. They're not all huddled under the heat lamp. A few of them are, but... I'm going to leave it right where it's at right now. It's measuring about 98, 99 degrees right there. So I'm going to leave it right there. I want to show you some of the few things that I do to help keep my chicks nice and healthy as they're the first couple weeks here and I'll show you what I put in their water and uh, what kind of feed I give them and uh, so forth so let me show you what I got here okay I got uh, two different kinds of feed I have the Purina start and grow it's medicated my chicks were vaccinated when I ordered them, and uh, so you really don't need to give them medicated feed since they were vaccinated. But I go ahead and give them this first couple weeks just as a safeguard. Uh, this stuff is really good for your chicks. It's actually contains 18% protein, which is what is recommended, and it also has. Uh, a lot of different things in it that they need like calcium and uh, uh, vitamin A, vitamin B, E, uh, salt, all kind of ingredients in this stuff is really good for your chicks. It gives them energy. Uh, this is a good feed to start them out with. It's, uh, and also I have regular chick starter. This is from the local tractor supply store. It's actually a 20% starter grower for chicks. Got 20% protein. This is not a medicated formula. It's non-medicated. There's no added antibiotics. So you could actually just start giving them this the first day you get them. 
instead of the medicated stuff if you want it. As long as your chicks are vaccinated. I like to get my chicks va vaccinated because um, chicks have a tendency of getting ill real quick from the, the hard trip that they have coming here in the mail. Or even if you get them at your local tractor store or something, being around all them chicks in a closed quarters like that, they can actually uh, get some kind of a disease that'll kill them. But uh, this stuff here, it's 20% protein. It's actually good for chickens, ducks, or geese. Uh, for turkeys, quail, pheasant, any kind of fowl that you might have. It, it has all the same kind of ingredients in it. It's got the protein and the salt and the sodium. and the, This doesn't have the actual vitamin A and vitamin E and stuff in it like the medicated stuff has. But it's a good feed. And you can feed them all this chick starter grower up to like 10 weeks of age before you start giving them the actual uh, laying crumbles or laying feed for your chickens because you don't want to give chicks actual chicken feed because chicken feeds high in calcium which is what a chicken needs to lay good eggs and these these chickens aren't ready to lay eggs they're nowhere near that. You have to get them prepared for laying eggs in the future. So you got to give them what they need when they're young, then work up to what they need when they're older and ready to lay eggs. Another thing, chick grit. A chick has to have grit. It helps the digestive system. Um, I usually wait to like the second week that I get my chicks before I start giving them some of this. All I do is when I put the feed in the feeder, I'll sprinkle some of this on top just so they get some of that grit into their system. But they need grit. This is chick grit. It's a lot smaller than the regular grit for bigger chickens. Even when the chickens get older, they have to have grit. So my chickens are free range. They get a lot of grit from just eating rocks and pebbles and stuff in the, on the ground. But I also give them grit in their feed too when they get older. But remember, you always have to have these grit. Helps to grind up the food and helps with their digestion. Also in their water, I like to give them this three-in-one additive for their water. It has uh, antibiotics, electrolytes in it, and it really helps uh, give them energy and uh, helps them uh, to stay healthy. What I do, I take a, it comes with a little uh, scoop inside of it. You give them uh, one scoop, which is like a tablespoon or something like that, per one gallon of water. You mix that up and once in a while, I'll also put some uh, regular household table sugar in there with it, too. And uh, I'll mix it in a gallon jug of water. And i put it in here for them, and it gives them a lot of energy. Keeps them healthy. Gives them the, the electrolytes that they need. And uh, it's really good for your baby chicks. So we're going to go ahead and change this water out. Give them some fresh feed and uh, get these things eaten again today. Here we go. All right, there they are. Eating like crazy. Breakfast. It won't take them long. They'll be uh, growing real quick, and we can put them down in the chicken coop, and they can start doing the job that they're intended for.
which is uh, supplying us with a, an abundant amount of eggs and uh, fertilizing the, the property here for us. Fertilizing our gardens, our flower beds, our yard. And just watching them walk around the yard is uh, always a, a great thing to watch. Uh, very relaxing to sit out there and watch them walk around and eat all the insects. And they actually, another good thing a chicken does is keeps uh, wood ticks down on your property. They will eat the wood ticks, and that is that is a very good thing if you have pets. And small children. So, thank you guys for watching. Uh, this is uh, the lawn chair mechanic and the chicken farmer getting our chicks ready. I'm doing it, and I really enjoy raising chickens. And uh, I'll just show you how fun it is. I'll have many videos coming later on my chickens and uh, if anyone's interested in ever raising chickens they can watch these videos and uh, hopefully you can learn something and we'll catch you next time on the lawn chair mechanic thanks a lot for watching guys